Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Louisiana Downs here on Saturday. It is the 14th of September, 2024. Going to look the featured seventh race from Louisiana. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Remember to go check out my St. Ledger preview today from Doncaster. But uh, the seventh race from Louisiana, a race very rich in history. And, you know, I think it's. Uh, past you know it's had much better past glory but um you know maybe one day this race could come back to its you know potential glory that it had but um it's a race like i said very rich in history seventh race from louisiana it is the super derby it's going for a purse two hundred fifty thousand dollars race for three-year-olds here we have a field of 11 horses going 1800 meters or mile length here in this year's super derby Years before the um, Pennsylvania Derby, Pennsylvania Derby was always big, not as big as it is now, but um, this used to be like the major derby at the uh, in September uh, that a lot of horses used to, you know, target. But uh, my top selection here, I'm going to go with the five horse Cornishman. I'm going to go five seven three eight in the Superfecta. Five seven three eight super top selection of five horse Cornish men. This um, three year old going by Curlin, Brad Cox trains Timmy Thornton's in the in the uh, saddle. The horse's most recent out came in Ellis on the twenty first twenty uh, fourth of August. Mile and eighth in the last race seventy three thousand facing all the horses. He finished second by two and a quarter lengths that day, and he was just wide that day. He kept coming that day. The winner had the jump on him, but with an eighty five buyer, I thought he ran a terrific race on the front end. Coming here today against these horses, getting a mile and eighth again off some decent workouts. I think he's sitting on a very good race here today. First time stakes quality horses. He ran two back on the 30th of June at Churchill, mile and the eighth in the optional hundred claimer. And he finished fifth by six and a quarter lengths that day. And he didn't get out of the gate so clearly. He was a little bit wide. And he just couldn't catch, you know, the, the few in front of him who were just a little bit better on the day than him. And then the 4th of May at Churchill, mile 16th on a good main track on optional hundred. He finished second by seven and a half lengths. Mind frame flew home clear. Ran a terrific race after that. This horse was second best behind a very decent horse that day. Uh, and then at the fairgrounds and March, mile 16th, and not main special weight. Um, he he uh, won by a half length, and on the front of him from a little bit wide poster, he left to get good position, and he did just that. I thought that was a very good race. Like I said, he's training well since the last race. Coming here at 6 1, first time stakes, quality horses, he could definitely win. I think the seven horse, Carlo Rapido, could win for Roman, also Mike Maker, was a winner at Ellis on the 20th of July, going a mile furlong in a lounge race, winning by a neck, closing it from nowhere from a stupidly wide trip. I thought he ran terrifically that day. That was the first time in the Maker barn. Prior to then, the Pletcher Barn and Optional Hunter at Churchill going mile of furlong 30th June. He finished fourth by five and a quarter lengths that day, and he just never really got going that day. And then he ran a Mammoth in early June over the mile 70 and Optional 16, where he finished third by four and a quarter lengths. Again, a little bit wide, just not really keeping up. His only victor came at uh, Laurel going mile 16th in March, where he won by two and a quarter lengths from a dream tracking trip. He is trading well at. Um, Churchill since the last race. Coming here today, I think he has some hidden ability that can win. At 6-1, let's use him on the ticket. But to recap my selection for the 7th from Louisiana, now it's the Super Derby. Gonna take the 5-horse Cornishman. Give kudos to the 7-horse Carlo Rapido. 5-7-3-8 Super. 5-7 in the multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck everybody.